Hello party people. I went to Target today. I needed dish soap and my kids also had some money from their grandmother to spend at Target. So I said, okay, let's go there. And then I thought, you know what? I need to go grocery shopping and I planned on stopping at Publix on the way home, but I just, I got into the Target cyclone, whatever that thing is called, like where all you can think about is Target. And so I just stayed there and did my grocery shopping. And when I was done, I thought, oh, I meant to go to Publix. <sighs> so um, let me show you what I got from Target. Last week I went to Costco and I really stocked up on a lot of stuff so I didn't need too much but I still spent like 120 bucks so here we go. So here it is, the haul as a whole and Target has some odd things at their store. Uh, the one I went to today was a Super Target. It was not the one in Clearwater, sadly, not the department store. Uh, that one is seriously the best Target I've ever been into in my entire life. But this one was a Super Target and it had a bakery, hence these, and it even had like a deli section. So I got some deli meat. Anyway, this is the hand soap, not hand soap. This is the dish soap that I got. I also got some rolls. They were 50 cents off. I think that's what really got me. Oh my gosh, and then this got me. Oh, you guys. I've saved a little bit so I could show you the inside, but now I'm regretting the decision because it just doesn't even look good. It is a veggies and hummus on a sweet potato tortilla. I know you guys love when I say tortilla. Um, I am going to have to read this ingredient list and try to recreate it. It is so good. There's cucumber, carrots, feta cheese, lettuce, and hummus, I don't know what else, but red onion probably, it's so delicious. I got a, just a few bananas, not too many, because I got a few a few days ago. How many times can I say a few in the last few minutes? Hey! But I got some a couple of days ago, and I guess my family wants me to eat to make banana bread, so that's what I'm gonna do with those, so I just got a couple. Also, I need to start eating them before workouts because I haven't been doing that and I'm really feeling the difference. I got some strawberries, carrots, some crunchy apples. These are gala apples. And my whole family is like obsessed with having crunchy, the crunchiest apple ever. Otherwise, they won't eat it <laughs> if it's like the slightest bit mealy. I also got some potatoes to roast. And then I found this. Um, I don't know, it's protein blends? I'm not sure what's in it. So it's an Italian style, a blend of whole grains, lentils, spinach, broccoli, with white beans and garlic parmesan sauce. So that looks really good to me. Looks like an easy lunch, you know what I mean? When I'm having a busy day like today. I feel like I have so much to do today and my workload is just piling up. So I might make this for dinner actually, quick and easy dinner. And then I got some of these cereals cause I, oh did I mention I, I needed to get stuff for lunch? Uh, school is starting tomorrow, ayo. So the kids are going back to school after winter break and I said, what do you want to eat for breakfast? And they picked this out, great. And then they picked this expensive pasta out and I said, you know what, it's okay to splurge every once in a while, but look at those bow ties, they're nice and rainbow-esque and Eleanor's favorite color is rainbow. So, spirit animal, say what? Here are some great northern beans. I'm planning on making a soup. I think I've made it with you guys before, maybe not. It is a bacon bean soup, it's Pioneer Woman and oh lord, it is so, you know what, I think I have made it with you. So I'll try to link that below if I have. It is so delicious, oh, so bacony. my mouth is drooling just thinking about it. I also needed like one tablespoon of tomato paste for the soup, but Target did not sell it in like a squeezy tube, so I just grabbed this and I'm just gonna have to waste the rest of it or find something else to make tomato with tomato paste in it? I don't know, it's probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna end up in the garbage. And then I bought three cans of corn. We had a can of corn last night for dinner. It was a hit, smash hit. Why have I not been feeding my family canned corn? Simple, delicious, not very nutritious, but it is a vegetable, so there's that. I also got some Italian seasoning. If you guys watched my latest um, clean and cook with me, you guys know I ran out of like every seasoning that I own trying to make that darn soup. And that soup was delicious too. It was a sausage lentil soup. My lord, so good. I'll link that below too. Penne ragat, ragata, ragate. I don't know, dude. I got some boxed pastas. And then I got some crackers because I said, what are you guys going to eat for lunch? I'm sick of packing stuff and then seeing it sent home, even though really lately they've been pretty good about it. But they said they wanted um, like fake Lunchables, so I bought some crackers. We're gonna do ham and cheese Lunchables. 
I didn't buy cheese. <laughs> we'll get over it. Um, they, I, they also picked this out. These are the Snyder's pieces. They're buffalo wing. Alex loves these. Avelina really loves these. They're pretty spicy, so just a heads up if you're planning on buying them. And then Eleanor got these pretzels. Good to dip in hummus or not. And then I found these in the bakery section. I normally find these at Costco, not these exact ones, but they are crepes. They're rolled crepes filled with hazelnut, chocolate and hazelnut. I don't, there's only eight in here. The one at Costco, there's like a million, but I can never find it at Costco. It's like hit or miss if I find it. If it's at Costco though, it's in like the bakery section as well. So a lot of you ask where I find it. And then I saw this chicken, which Avelina requested for her lunches. I don't know why. Chicken breast strips, they're just the grilled ones. And then I grabbed some Southwest style back there. And they were two for $11, I think. Normally like $7.50 each or so. So I thought that was a kind of deal. I don't know. And then I got some Cliff Bars. Oh, I know. No, okay. So the old Cliff Bars I used to get, the first ingredient was like legit sugar. I used to love Cliff Bars. They keep you full when you're on the go. Oh, by the way, oh my gosh. We were at Bush Gardens the other day and we were stuck in a rainstorm. So we were like going from shelter to shelter. Uh, one shelter we landed in was like a, I don't know, a little cafeteria food place. They were selling single Cliff Bars for $4.55. Say what? That the guy on the bike is gonna fall off the cliff if he ever had to spend $4.55 for a single bar. Are you kidding me? That's, I guess they have to make their money some way, you know what I mean? And then I got some Z bars. Eleanor really likes these. We normally get the chocolate ones, um, but this time we went with the iced oatmeal cookie. She was very insistent on it, as a matter of fact. So I said, okay, you better eat them all, Eleanor. And then I saw this, this was on sale as well. But really, was it on sale? It was like $7 for a family size bag. I don't know what they usually go for. We normally don't buy them, but I've been really busy lately, so dinner time comes around and I'm like, oh, what am I gonna make? And then I throw a bunch of crap in a pan, whatever. Anyway, I thought that would be a little easier on me. And then I got some seasonings, meatloaf seasoning, some chicken gravy, and I think I, oh, here's one more. I also got this Parma Rosa sauce mix. I've had this plenty of times. I think you're supposed to use milk. Yeah, ha wait, one and a half cups milk is the base of the sauce. But I use almond milk with vanilla and it's, st it's still fine. Normally I pl try to meal plan, but do I ever? If I have original almond milk, that's what I suggest using for this, but we never have it. We always have the vanilla. Oh, maybe the rice milk will be good with that, which I bought rice milk, but I guess Alex already drank some and put it in the fridge. Uh, the rice, where? I guess I might as well just show you. So there it is, the rice dream. Oh, this is vanilla too, whatever. So that's what I'll be making with that. And then I got some, what is this? A pound of uh, Publix hard salami. And then I got half a pound of ham, uh, like sandwich slice. Gosh, I can smell this ham. I wonder if that's bad that I can smell it like out of the package like that. And then, uh, well, I wanted it thick cut but I forgot to tell her. So then I got more just thick cut. This is real thick. She said, how thick? I was like, I don't know, lunchable thick? <laughs> well, I got, <laughs> ah, so that's what she did for me. It's almost a whole pound, those two slices. And then I got some Pringles for the kids' lunches. My Avelina, she said, everyone has Pringles for lunch. I said, everyone? Everyone? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she believed it. She thinks everyone um, in the world brings Pringles except for her. She's so left out and deprived. Uh, and then I got some of these cereals. We used to eat these all the time. They're like uh, the Target brand of Quaker Oats, Quaker Oats squares, whatever. They're delicious. And then oh, a little snack over here. I'm going to try to hide these in the outside fridge, freezer. They are the chocolate flavored hazelnut spread sandwich. Okay, that was weird that I tilted the camera. Did it affect you guys at all? Okay, so that is everything I got. Hey -o. Okay, that is everything that I got from Target. Ho woo! Uh, I don't even want to put this away. I, don't know. I hope I gave you some dinner ideas. Slash, I hope I can rewatch this and jot down some dinner ideas that I come up with. <laughs> oh, you guys, you know how it is. My style, I just, what's for dinner? I don't know. Just come eat. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.